Okay, everything you've been waiting for. I have the $79 Mendini violin. It's been sitting on a tone right for the last six days. And there's really only so much you can do about it because the plates, they say they're fully hand carved, which is kind of meaningless, really, because unless you're taking the time to graduate the plates and, and, and tune them for the particular piece of wood, it, they might as well be made on a machine. But anyway, it is what it is, $79. Let's see. Violin, it's really more of a, a fiddle. It's got a fiddle tone if you're playing old time or Cajun. I'm going to be comparing this to $79 to an antique made in 1906. Um, and actually, now it would be Czechoslovakia, but back then it was in Greslitz, name of the town. I paid a little over 800 for this. And then I'm going to compare this, oh, to Carlo Lamberti Master Series Violin. I bought this used for $1,100, but they retail for $1,750 now. But I got a good deal. Beautiful violin. But let's see. Let's pick out a fiddle tune. Oh, I like this one. Let's try this on for size. Next up, antique. Is that even tuned the same? Yeah, close enough. Chinese made Char Carlo Lamberti. scales Lamberti. Ah, now, I appreciate the fact that what you're hearing isn't a true sense because it's buffer sound or whatever the technical term is to kind of moderate the volume. This really 
projects more than my antique one, but personally, I like the tone of this one a little better, but it could be the strings. Diodario Pro Arts, Tomastic Enfield Visions, not the Vision Solos, but just the regular Visions. And so I notice that the strings oh, make this thing explode. So apples to oranges here. Now this one, again, worked on the bridge. I have actually this fixture that holds the bridge at whatever angle I want. And when you put the sandpaper down here, fine sandpaper, I use the thousand grit and roll it back and forth. It gets good, good fit between the feet and the, and the fiddle. I also adjusted the sound post. It has, um, oh, no, I don't know what kind of strings these are. Strike that. This has the pro art. Um, the Diodario strings are cheaper than the Enfield. If you were to get, everyone wants to get the dominance, they're like 75 bucks. Depends on where you buy them. Um, the Diodario Pro Arts are about 35 to 40. They haven't jacked up their prices, but you can see. And if you play old-timey music or Cajun, you can work with that. That's about it. You know, there's limits to what you can do with this thing, but if that's all you can afford, hey, you know, more power to you. It'll, it'll serve the purpose. It plays well. It doesn't sound horrible, but consider the cost. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.